I'm William Matherly. I am supervisor over propane building. Today we're going to go over a propane truck for you to show you the basic operations of it. Uh, right now we'll go over loading the propane truck. Right here we have a vapor line, a liquid line. What you want to do is pull your cap off, get hooked up at your loading rack. Come over here, turn this 80% 80 80 bleeder off, I mean on, to where it'll bleed. When liquid starts coming out of it, you know your tank is full. So you shut everything down, cut your bleeder off, unhook your lines, and you're ready to go make deliveries with the truck. Now we'll go over basic operation on how to make a delivery with a propane truck. I've got a remote in my hand, which is emergency shut off. All of ours come with PTO control also. So once you get to make a delivery, you open your box up. Inside your box, you have a belly valve control. You flip your belly valve control on. Hit start on your meter, you grab your hose, you pull it to the tank, you use your remote and cut your PTO on, make your delivery. Once your delivery is complete, you come back to the truck, you hit stop on your meter and then print so you can print a ticket, you cut your PTO off and your delivery is complete. It's very little maintenance that you have to do. You, You've got two PTO shafts and a pump up underneath the truck. You need to grease your PTOs and your pump, I'd say once a month, depending on how much you use the truck. But you want to do that every month. You want to go through, re-tighten your tie-down bolts on it, on your frame to make sure all of them are tight. You want to come back to the back of your truck you always know how many gallons a minute your pump is pumping. Once your pump slows down and it's not pumping the gallons per minute again, you need to cut off all of your valves going to your meter, bleed your meter down, remove your cap off of your air eliminator, pull your strainer out, clean it, and that should get you back up and going again. 